These are the colours of Germany's political parties. None of them ever wins an election outright, so they need to form coalitions, which to outsiders sounds pretty weird and worldly. Put the Christian Democratic Union, the Greens and the FDP together and you get the Jamaica Coalition, because their colours are also those of the Jamaican flag. Swap the FDP for the SDP and you get the Kenya Coalition. The Greens, the SDP and the FDP make the Traffic Light Coalition and if the two biggest parties form government, you've got two options. Led by the Greens, it's a Kiwi Coalition. Led by the Union, it's the Black-Green Coalition, which compared to the rest sounds a little dull, so Germans call it the Pizza Connection. This one's got nothing to do with colour. It's because this union was formed at a pizza shop in Bonn in the 1990s. Knowing just who will win the German election is confusing. This time, there's one big reason why it's harder than ever. Ja, meine Damen und Herren, guten Morgen. Angela Merkel has been a dominant figure on the world stage for nearly two decades. Oh my God, I'm rolling the eyes. And I always thought that I had such a serene and beautiful poker face at the summits. She's one of the most recognisable and influential people in the world. Well, to most people anyway. As the Chancellor, she's managed to lead Germany with 16 years of growth and stability. It's now the world's fourth biggest economy. Angela Merkel helped keep the European Union from falling apart during the financial crisis. And she dealt with a huge wave of refugees in 2015. But it divided Germans. Let me simply say that Germany is a strong country and our intention must be to say we have achieved so much. We will manage this. During the pandemic, her steady hand and scientific background helped Germany manage the COVID outbreak better than many of its neighbours. Despite being in the middle of the continent with one of the biggest populations, Germany's had one of the lowest death rates from COVID in the EU. Deswegen lassen Sie mich sagen, Allow me therefore to say, this is serious. Please take this seriously. Since German reunification, no, since the Second World War, there has not been a challenge for our country in which action, in a spirit of solidarity on our part, was so important. Angela Merkel has seen four American presidents. I have German in my blood. I'll be there. And four French ones. Was ich leider kann. Five British Prime Ministers. The, the British Premier Minister, Boris Johnson. And eight Italian ones come and go during her time in office. Her signature hand gesture. Die Merkel Raute. Or in English, the Merkel Rhombus. Even has its own Wikipedia page. It came to symbolize her reputation as reliable, calm and solid. This will be a big moment for Germany. Whoever takes over from Angela Merkel will be just the fourth Chancellor since reunification. Dr Merkel has been in the job for 16 years, since 2005. That's when she took over from Gerhard Schroeder, who held the position for seven years, and before him, Helmut Kohl, who was Chancellor from 1982 to 1998. He's the only Chancellor of the Republic to have served longer than Angela Merkel. Germans, it seems, like stability. Germany is a very consensus-based country, so I think that's another reason why Merkel is so successful, because she kind of embodies that consensus, um, trying to absorb all different positions in order to do something that is good for almost everyone. Nobody's quite sure of the size of the personal vote Angela Merkel brought to the table. Taking over her party is Armin Laschet. He should be a clear favourite, but his stance on lockdowns has been inconsistent, which has left Germans wondering about his convictions. And being caught cracking jokes during the country's recent floods didn't go down so well. Annalena Baerbock is the leader of the Greens, and unlike many other countries, Germany's Greens have broad appeal. Annalena Baerbock is today to Gast in the Magazine Royale. 
She's also a former trampolining champion. Spannung und bei drei kommt dann der Absprung. The Greens have doubled their position in the polls since the last election, and they have a good chance of being part of any coalition. There's also Olaf Scholz, nicknamed the Scholzamat, for what some call his robotic presentation style. We want to be successful in 2050 with the CO2 neutral economy. He's been Germany's finance minister, overseeing the 750 billion euro post-pandemic stimulus package to revive Germany's economy. He's criticised lockdowns, saying they ought to be more targeted and have better testing. And then there's the anti-immigration AFD, which won seats for the first time in 2017. They rode a wave of anger over the migrant crisis and ended up with 91 seats. They are hostile to the EU and see Islam as a threat to traditional German values. But since the pandemic overtook immigration as the main worry for most Germans, their popularity has slumped. After 16 years with one leader, change is coming to Germany. But which blocks will form a coalition and who becomes the next Chancellor is anyone's guess.